In good health today, if you're among the millions who might be grilling out over the 4th of July, Dr. Frank McGeorge here with some important tips that go beyond just setting your apron on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope you don't do that. But you know, yeah. with one in six people coming up with some form of food poisoning, frankly, there can never be enough reminders. Here you go. It's a summer staple. Millions of Americans love cooking out in the nice weather, especially around the 4th of July when we'll buy an estimated $400 million of beef, according to the USDA. But as the temperatures climb, so does the risk of foodborne illness. We generally see a spike in the number of foodborne illnesses like salmonella or E. coli during the summer months. Dr. Mindy Bershears says that's because bacteria grows more quickly at warmer temperatures. So the USDA recommends you keep four things in mind every time you fire up the grill. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. Wash your hands frequently while cooking. Keep raw meat away from cooked food. And when it comes to cooking, make sure it's done properly. We want our burgers to be cooked to 160 degrees internally, and we want you to use a food thermometer. Sausage should also be cooked to 160 degrees, steak to 145, and turkey and chicken to 165. Finally, leftovers should be refrigerated within an hour. That means making sure your cooler is stocked with ice if you're not near home. Simple steps that can help keep you and your family and friends safe this grilling season. Now finally, make sure that you do any marinating in the refrigerator. Leaving marinated meat out on your counter, well, it's just keeping it at a temperature that is ideal for bacteria to multiply. And also, don't use marinade as a sauce if it's not cooked because it's got dirty meat in it. Dad, are you listening to all of this? Because the heat <laughs> falls right into this category <laughs> with his marinating. All right, Dad. Four things there were there. Take them all. All right, well, this all, of course, is... Uh, relies on the fact we have 